okay students we will discuss some practical questions about the topic that we discuss the project appraisal in which we are discussing about the capital budgeting techniques in addition to the previous two uh, video clips that I uploaded in the LMS where we discussed some basic questions right let's move on to some advanced questions right in this question I'll read out the question first ABC company is considering a new product line to supplement its range of products it is anticipated that the new product line will involve cash investment of 700,000 at time zero right so like we discussed earlier right the cash outflow at the year zero will be 700,000 and also in year one also 1 million we have cash outflow then after after tax cash flows of 250,000 are expected in year 2 year 3 300,000 year 4 350,000 right the following years year 2 year 3 year 4 you have the same figures right after year 4 again you have cash inflow 400,000 400,000 each year up to year, year 10 right from year 5 onwards up to year 10 you have same amount of cash inflow although the product line uh, might be viable after 10 years the company prefers to be conservative and all cal uh, calculations at that time right what is required a if the required rate of return is 15 percentage compute net present value is it acceptable right so let's do this question you know the how to calculate net present value the NPV right we have discussed in the previous video clips as well right this is the formula of NPV okay right we have discussed this in the previous uh, clips let's move on to the calculation right so I have already plug or uh, plug all these uh, values right so then it's easy to explain right at year 0 700,000 is a cash outflow at the year 1 also we have cash outflow 1 million year 2 250,000 year 3 300,000 year 4 350,000 okay year 5 to 10 year 5 to 10 400,000 so since it's an equal amount of cash inflow rather than uh, uh, taking this 400,000 every year from year 5 onwards right in a single line I have shown this right year 5 to 10 400,000 right in order to calculate these are uh, this cash flow this cash flow right I'll put it in the different color this cash flow right to be converted to the present value in order to calculate the NPV right so as you know at year 1 the discounting factor will be 1 right then after at the rate of 15 percentage you have to calculate the discounting factor but right? how can you calculate you can follow the formula 1 over 1 plus r to the power n right accordingly right 1 1 over okay 1 over within bracket 1 plus to the power uh, 15 percentage right I have put these cell letters I have select the cell letters 15 percentage to the power to the power n so 
to the n you have to apply the year in which year right here n is equal 1 right again n is equal year 2 right again n is equal 3 again n is equal 4 up to year 4 individually you can do the calculation there won't be any issue right so what you can do you can multiply this in order to find the present value you can multiply the cash flow into discounting factor then you will get the present value of the cash flow right year 3 year 4 okay year 5 onwards year 5 onwards you will be having uh, 400,000 the cash inflow right discounting factor since it's a equal amount of cash flow for the next 5 years right to convert to the present value you can follow both ways right as we calculated for year 1 2 3 4 you can go like year 5 6 7 8 9 10 but it takes time right so you know rather than calculating individually you can find cumulative discounting factor if it is a case like this right cumulative discounting factor how can you calculate this cumulative discounting factor right you can use this formula right 1 minus 1 over 1 plus r to the power t right right i'm sorry right t means time upon right upon r you can use this formula right okay so this is how you have to do the calculation you can calculate the cumulative discounting factor this is this goes up to year 10 right for the year up to year 10 what you can do you can calculate the cumulative discounting factor then after you can detect the cumulative discounting factor up to year 4 then the balance the answer will equal to year 5 to year 10 right let's do it right as stated in the formula i have taken 1 minus 1 over 1 plus r r mean 15 percentage in this calculation right to the power t means time 10 years okay upon r upon r again 0 0.15 0 0.15 15 percentage right for the 10 years what you can do you are calculating the cumulative discounting factor right again you can calculate the discounting factor year 1 to year 4 year 1 to year 4 ok using the same formula you can calculate only the t will change sorry t will be changed right 1 minus 1 over 1 plus r r mean you have to put 15 percentage 0 0.15 to the power 4 upon again 15 percentage 0 0.15 right Zero point one five. Now, if you detect the discounting factor uh, of year ten minus up to year four, then you will get a discounting factor for year five to ten. The balance, 
like the balance the balance okay so i'll take this discounting factor year 5 to year 10 here i'll call it right i'll call the cell letters right if you multiply this 400000 year 5 to 10 by the cumulative discounting factor respective cumulative discounting factor you will be ending up with this value right likewise if you convert after converting all these cash flows by the uh, discounting factor you get this present value then if you sum it up you will get NPV you will get NPV right that is negative value 117800 right 117 117800 okay since this uh, project gives negative negative uh, NPV negative NPV the project is unacceptable the project is unacceptable okay You can, uh, okay, let's move to the question twos. Analyze the B part of the question. Analyze what would be the case if the record rate of return were 10 percentage, right? Earlier the percentage was 15. Earlier the percentage was 15, right? Now, in the second part of the question is asking, to calculate using the percentage 10 right same way you can follow it up same table right year 0 you have 700,000 right year 1 1 million year 2 250,000 year 3 300,000 year 4 350,000 year 5 to 10 year 5 to 10 400,000 these are the cash flows right right the same way you can uh, find the discounting factor at the rate of 15 uh, i'm sorry 10 percentage right at year zero you have the value of one year one you get this value right i have rounded up to three digits right the answers right as i explained in the previous table you have to do the curve right Again, you have to find out the cumulative discounting factor using the using this formula for 10 percentage as well, right? 1 minus 1 over 1 plus 10 percentage means 0 0.1 to the power 10 means first you have to calculate for 10 years. Why? You have to identify the discounting cumulative discounting factor from year 5 to 10 okay so 10 years upon 0 0.1 which means 10 percentage you're ending up the value with 6 6 point one four four five seven right you calculate for year 1 to 4 using the same formula you're ending up with 3.16987 right the calculation you can uh, ensure like this right year 4 1 to 4 here you have year 1 up to 4 right if you sum it up the discounting factor year 1 to 4 you have to get this value 3.16987 right if you sum it up accordingly you have you you get 3.169 right 3.169 yes 3.16987 right so it's since it's uh, with three digit decimal point right the answer is right okay if you detect 
the discounting factor that you found for up to year 10 right if you detect the discounting factor up to year 4 you will be ending up with 2.9750 that is for year 5 to 10 right so I'll call up this value using the cells reference right now as we did earlier you can uh, convert to the right cash flow into the present value right so here NPV is 251,850 this is the NPV at 10 percentage that is the answer for the B part of the question C part of the question you have to calculate IRR you have to calculate internal right C part okay but as I explained to you earlier as I explained to you I'm sorry as I explained to you earlier right if you want to find IRR this is the formula you have to use right IRR is equal L plus P upon P minus N into H minus L right you have the informations about this uh, L mean discount rate of low trial H mean discount rate of high trial P mean NPV of the cash flows of the low trial and N mean NPV of the cash flow of the high trial right accordingly right using this trial and error method right you should have calculated uh, NPV at 2 percentage right so in the previous example it is given I'm sorry in the previous question first they asked 15 percentage and again for 10 percentage right you can take these values for the C part of the question right if you apply it right lower rate uh, is 10 percentage plus right uh, P NPV of the low trial, right? That is uh, 251850 upon again NPV of the P means NPV of the low trial 251850 minus, right? Again N, N mean NPV of the cash flow of high trial that is. 117,800 into H mean discount rate of the high trial that is 15 minus L mean discount rate of the low trial that is 10 right if you multiply it so you are ending up the answer with 0 0.1340 six six zero zero eight right almost it is thirteen point four one percentage thirteen point four one percentage this is the answer of for this question right this is the value of IRR this is the value of IRR thirteen point four one D part of the question calculate the project's payback period right that is easy at year 0 this project cash outflow is 700,000 year 1 1 million again 250,000 year 3 300,000 year 4 350,000 from year 5 to year 10 year 5 to year 10 you have 400,000 cash inflow right if you calculate the cumulative cash flow right uh, 
right when it becomes six years right cumulative cash flow becomes zero which means that you can recover the investment right within six years within six years so these are the answers of this question number one of this question number one okay let's move to the question number two right question number two sales 50,000 units sales 50,000 units per year and selling price is 4 variable cost is 2 rupee and 50 cents per unit and fixed cost is 12,000 rupees per year lifetime of the project is 3 years and initial investment is 900 thousand rupees which will be depreciated fully over fully over the years initial working capital requirement is 20,000 and the tax rate is 34 percentage required rate of return is 20 percentage okay. what is required first is asking calculate projected income statement or performer income statement in other words Secondly, operating cash flow. Third, projected total cash flow and NPV of the firm. Right? Let's do this question. First, he is asking projected income statement. Right? In the income statement, no, we have the sales value. Here 50,000 units right into 4 rupees into 4 rupees okay uh, 50,000 into 4 200,000 right and again he has given the information of variable cost right fixed cost and the depreciation right variable cost variable cost right that is 50,000 units into 2 rupees and 50 cents right that is equal to 50,000 into 2.50 125,000 right if you detect variable cost from sales how much you get you get 75,000 that is contribution again he has given fixed cost fixed cost how much 12,000 rupees 12,000 rupees right depreciation depreciation what he is telling about depreciation lifetime of the project is three years initial investment is nine ninety thousand which will be depreciated fully over the years which means there is no any scrape value right you know the depreciation you have to take cost and again you have to direct the scrape value using the useful life of the time period right here 90,000 is the cost right you don't have scrape value right
useful lifetime is three years so thirty thousand right let's detect these two there is no what is uh, additional years given initial working capital that we have to take for the calculation of uh, cash flow tax rate is 34 per 4 percentage that we have to calculate right let's do the let's find the earning before interest and tax no ebit in short form earning before interest and tax right 75000 minus 12000 minus 30000 so you have found ebit 33000 right and again if you calculate tax at 34 percentage right for this 33000 how much 11,220 rupees now you can find net income net income right this is the answer for the projected income statement or performer income statement second question is asking operating cash flow Operating cash flow. Cash flow. Right? How can we calculate the operating cash flow? Right? In the previous video clips, right? I have shown three ways to calculate the operating cash flow. So, right? Here, according to the information given right you can calculate the operating cash flow using this formula operating cash flow is equal ebit plus depreciation minus tax why the depreciation is a non cash item right accordingly you know the amount of ebit plus depreciation you know minus the tax right this is the value of operating cash flow right operating cash flow operating Operating cash flow. Okay. Third part of the question. Third part of the question. Total projected total cash flow as well as NPV. Right. year 1 2 3 right according to the information given in the scenario this project lifetime is 3 years right okay initial investment the cash outflow he has given 90000 rupees right Operating cash flows OCF, right? OCF operating cash flow. I'm sorry, I have to start from year zero. operating cash flow for each year you have the same value that we have found 51,780 right 